<clears throat> Aloha, amigos. God, I'm white. I couldn't have said that any whiter than I did just now. And I'm not even that white. That's embarrassing. I'm a quarter Japanese. I'm still white. Who am I kidding? Um, okay, so today's seven minutes in heaven is with my best friend who I've um, shared many an uh, intimate moment with, um, Asa Akira. Have you heard of her? Um, she actually originated seven minutes in heaven, but I took over because she popped out a baby and now it's just mine. I've claimed it. I've colonized seven minutes in heaven. I'm going to go get her and, uh, we'll see if she, you know, can hang. Hello, 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 hello. Have we met before? Uh, I don't know. You look kind of familiar. Interesting. Are you on? Are you on Pornhub? I am, but only eating corn. Ah, uh, right, right, right. You're yeah. you're that girl. So I don't know if you saw the opening of this, but I I've colonized. I've Christopher Columbus. Seven minutes in heaven. You totally have, and I'm so happy you have, but yes, it's true. I started this series during quarantine um, when there was, like, nothing else going on. No. Um, so we were just kind of, like, bored and wanting to do stuff. And then I went and got pregnant. Like a fucking idiot. A fucking idiot. I let someone come in me. I mean, you're disgusting. Got the worst STD of all, pregnancy. Exactly. And, we're um... Um, <clears throat> and, and I finally kicked it. Another rich white person taking something over from minorities. <laughs> I'm calling HR. You should. Okay. So I have changed the questions to reflect a modern approach. Can I say something? No. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, I just want to say I have purposely I've gone out of my way to not know this this the new questions. Okay, and I just want to say that bouncing off of that. Okay, that means that you have consciously never watched any of my seven minutes in heaven before because you just didn't care. And now that it's your turn, you're like, I'm going to use this as my leverage to say that I've never actually watched any of your seven minutes. Well, I, I also, I happen to know that you never watched mine because oh, no. you're constantly like asking like, oh, like, have we already had this person on or like pitching people that have already, I've already had. So well, better. I've never even listened to your podcast except when I was on it. <laughs> but you know what? If, if we can't admit these things, like, what are friends for? Not real friends. Yeah. We're real friends. Like, we don't... Yeah. yeah. We're not business friends. First, tell me you like me as a blonde. First of all... Okay. First of all, wait. Let's... Before we even get into anything, let's talk about that. Okay. I love you as a blonde. How like, you, I think... How does I think you've, you've reached your final destination for me. Really? Yeah. I think I really like it too. Anyways, this is more like our podcast conversation as opposed to seven minutes in heaven. Update, Asa and I have started a podcast like every other fucking person in the universe. Shocking news. I know. Like there wasn't enough of podcasts of idiots on the internet already. Here comes more. One of so which get ready. They're clothing, by the way, in like five days. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in, I mean, we're both like pajama vibes. I don't know. Yeah, but you're hot. I'm wearing a bra. And I have wear a bra on for, you know. I'm wearing a bra and I have oil stains on my sweatshirt. From what? I don't know. Impossible to say. Okay. <laughs> Seven minutes in heaven. Let's move it. What has been your, oh wait. <laughs> the first question is actually a stolen one from your. <laughs> What has been your best throughout the last two years? 
Wait, what? I, it skipped out for a sec. What? What has been your best purchase for the last two years? Okay, actually, that's okay. What's my best purchase? Okay. I mean, a lot of things. I'm definitely like addicted to addicted to the cart, but I will say one thing I love and like this is I hate advertising this brand, but I fucking love Skims. I'm actually I'm wearing it right now. I know. I just feel like wait, I have a crapless version of that. that exactly this material is incredible. Like you know what? I don't even want to talk about it anymore because, like, I don't want to like I, it. I have so much skims. Anyway, what show I, are you with? What show am I watching right now? Um, ugh, ugh. I don't even. These are all embarrassing questions, that's Aria. The, yeah, that's. Um, I have to say, I'm really into 90 Day Fiance, and like, it's just. It's so bad and good. I know. You've been obsessed with this. You and Alex have been obsessed with this. I've, I've never seen a single episode. At this point, like, don't. Like, you don't have time for right. this kind of obsession. Like, it's right. so good. Right. I think I'm going to start it. Just because, guys, it's two valid sources telling me anything. Also, like, I, I don't know. Like, I... I always think about like, I've, I've also been watching like all these shows, I, you know, along with the rest of the world on like people getting scammed lately. Right. And I, I just like can't, it, it reminded me because 90 Day Fiance a lot of times is a scam as well. But like, it just like makes me realize like, I'd be so easy to scam. Like, I, I don't even need like a professional con artist. Like, some like broke dude comes up to me and he's hot and he's like, I need money. Like, that's it okay what if what if i scammed you what would the scam be what would what would your con be Ooh, how much time do you have <laughs> okay hang yours if, yours would be like you by the end yours would be so as your best friend right. yours would be so unnecessarily complicated oh yeah and it, 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 like you'd you'd be your own worst enemy, I think. A hundred percent. I'd also have so much anxiety doing it, and I'd have to tell you. And then you'd yeah. be like, "Why didn't you just tell me? I would have done it for you anyway." Five, yeah, it would be elaborate for no reason. I'm a messy bitch who lives for drama. Um, do you watch your own porn? Yes. Interesting. You're the only person who said that. Really? Yeah. Because everybody else who's watched it, who's, who I've asked has said like, oh, it's more like, I don't watch it because I'll, I'll freak myself out. Like I'll say like, oh my God, you look so bad from this angle or blah, blah, blah. But it's more like to uh, make sure that their lighting is like, it's more like a learning process to move forward. You no. just- For me, it's like, you know how there's like kind of like a sick perversion in like reading your own emails over and over? To who? Like, to yourself. Like, email. oh, oh emails I to, like, for reminders? Okay, maybe, maybe that's, like, the wrong way to put it, because I'm not in, like, a line of business where I'm sending, like, so many emails. But, like, do you ever have it when you, like, write something so well written, whether it's, like, a text or an email or whatever, and, like, you just keep reading it over and over to yourself, and you're, like, kind of high on it? No, because I'm not a writer, but I can respect that because you are. <laughs> or like, I mean, I guess I feel the same way about porn. And like, I like, for me, like, I like the performing aspects of porn. Like, I'm, like, to me, I'm getting off on the fact that I'm making a product that people are going to watch. Like, I'm super, super conscious of that. And that's like part of the experience for me. So like, when I go back and rewatch it, I'm like, trying to watch it as if I'm someone else watching me and like I don't know to me that's hot okay so I I completely understand what you're saying because I too am a sociopath and I too um get horny from myself now <gasps> my friend who we both know 
And he was like, he tried so hard not to judge me for it, bless his heart. Like he, he really did. He tried to be like, oh, I can see that angle, but he didn't see the angle. I think I know exactly who you're talking about. And you know what? You make it sound so much worse than I did, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, I tend to do that about everything. <laughs> That's true. Who would you be most starstruck to meet? And I know you, I know you don't like to meet celebrities. It's horrible for you, but I just forget the experience of meeting them and how disappointed you would actually be. I just want to know who you would die to meet. Mariah Carey. You love, you best love Mariah. I love Mariah. Like sometimes I talk about Mariah and I feel like I could cry because like. But did the guy who did, okay, when we were doing our thing in LA and we were getting our makeup done, one of the makeup artists went to her house and did her makeup. I know. I There's also a makeup artist in porn, like a regular makeup artist in porn, who was her, like, I think she was, like, her traveling makeup artist. Were you I know. Obviously. Six degrees. Were you like, give me what Mariah had? And you know what? She, she said that she was lovely. Yeah. Which so is totally unexpected, because honestly, I kind of imagine Mariah to be terrible. He said, I, he was like, I, I went in with very low expectations. Mm -hmm. and he was like, she was very nice. He's like, in fact, she was wearing very ratchet eyelashes. And I was surprised. And I told her she, we had to change them. And she did. That makes me like her even more. Because, I mean. We, you love a lash. I love a ratchet at lash. So. I know. I know you do. It's the, it's the best thing about you. Um, okay. <laughs> your favorite hobby? I know the answer already, but tell, the, tell everyone. You do? Or I, I did. Eating? That's Binge a, eating? That's an essential. Oh. Do I have hobbies? Okay, you have two hobbies, one of which you used to really like, but then started to hate because it became a business, candle making. But then oh, the, yeah. the other thing was you were so good at, at crochet knitting. Okay, so this is, this is like, this is probably like one of the, my most worst habits is that like I get really into like hardcore into things for like a month and it's like all I'll talk about I'm obsessed with it it's all I want to do but then I completely lose interest in it and like never even think about it ever again okay that's how I feel about men um, <laughs> what was the worst date my worst date I don't know. You know, I'm not really a the dating type. <sighs> like, I'm not, I don't know that I've ever, like, actually met up with someone, went on, like, a proper date, like, to dinner. Like, I'll go, I'll go on dates, like, once I'm in a relationship. Um, like, once I'm in a relationship with someone, we'll go on dates, we'll go to dinner, we'll go to the movies, whatever. But I, when I'm like first getting to know someone or like in the dating phase, like it's all, I'm all about like hanging out at their house. It, it, this is also very telling of the fact that like, obviously I fuck on the first date. Like it's, <laughs> but like, <laughs> I, I don't just like, I don't know. So like, I don't know that I've ever had like. I'm sorry, are we? Bad... What? Are we interrupting something? You keep looking down. Is there a tiny man talking? No, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Like, I'm really trying to, like, remember a date. And, like, I can't remember. I don't think I've ever had a bad date. Or a, a date, really, in general. Okay, interesting. That's shocking. And I've got to talk. Um, okay, what's the weirdest sex tip you've ever heard? The weirdest sex tip I've ever heard. I feel like I actually give weird sex tips. Um, sure you do. Yeah. So can I give one? Can I give one instead of repeat one? Sure. Um, a really, really great blowjob beverage. 
pre blowjob beverage is orange juice. It just creates like the best spit for sucking dick. Like it makes your spit very like stringy and slimy and and the kind that doesn't like evaporate if that makes sense right so when you're like giving a blow job it just like stays really really nice and slimy okay so i i fully see that and i like it my question to you though is what about kissing prior to the blow job then you have you you have like orange juice breath which is not always pleasant that's true. You're right. Orange juice breath is a little bit weird, but um, I don't know. I guess I never really thought about that. They were too excited anyways to get the blood job. They didn't care. You could have like had halitosis at that point. Yeah. Or may like maybe the trick is to like bring in orange juice to the blow job, make out a little bit, be like, I'm thirsty, drink some orange juice, and then go right. straight to it. Okay. Good call. Hot tip. Hot tip. Okay. And we're at the last question. This is the weirdest one of all. Okay. If you were to pick an existential crisis to have, what would it be? <laughs> Bam. I mean, oh, I don't really have to pick one because my real life existential crisis is just like, I am truly, truly like, I think I am an existentialist in like, in general, like I'm very like, I don't believe there's any meaning to life. I don't believe we are here for any purpose. I re and like, I'm open to anything. I'm like truly agnostic in the sense that like, anything could be possible. Like I don't think I don't rule anything out. But I also kind of most strongly believe that this is all just like a perfect storm of cells. There's no purpose nothing happens after death and it all means nothing and i think some people are able to like take that that like school of thought and turn it into like nothing matters so like why don't we just all have a great time but and you know sometimes i can convince myself of that but like then late at night i'm thinking like well then what is the point of anything and this is terrible what am i even doing here so yeah. That's mine. That's so depressing. Um, but also, I, I totally feel you on that because, like, part of me is a nihilist as well. And I'm just like, it, it, you know what I mean? This is just, we're just going through the motions till we become, you know, whatever. But then you have these moments where you're like, is it, is this what's happening? You don't know. So <laughs> I, I get it. Yeah, you've actually just given me an existential, right? That this I see you. I see you going in between the two extremes. Where I'm like a nun and I get dedicated my life to, to the church or literally I'm a murderer. I'm like, nothing happens. Don't worry about it. And nothing in between. Well, I'm a Gemini. Do you blame me? I can't. I can't but, even... And also like 20 times throughout the day. Oh, for sure. There's part of me that is so pure and naive and kind that it's like, it's almost as if I sh I'm like some sort of angelic figure, like how did I wind up in this hellhole? And then on the other side of it, it's like. You're also the coldest bitch I've ever met. <laughs> ever. And it's just like, you're an emotionless. Hang on one second. A robot, a sex robot, essentially. Well, that's it. Except that I don't have sex. <laughs> So I'm basically just a robot. But like, <laughs> it's, it's so, yeah, you're, you're so, you're, you're very black and white. Yeah, there's no in between for me. And you know what? I think I'm all gray. You are, you are. T that's probably why we get along so well. And it's also probably why our humor fits together so well, because I'm at two opposite ends and then you fill in the gap. I think, honestly, like, I think you're onto something there. Like, that must just, we're, together, we're a complete person. Well, that makes sense, because we together have one brain. Yes. <laughs> if that. Hard if to say. That. <laughs> together, we have half a brain. Yeah, but the good half, you know? Yeah.
the one yeah, that like the eight percent. Yeah. Um, okay, well we're done. Thanks so much for doing this with me. This was so much fun. I hope I get to see you sometime soon. I mean, I think we're gonna. We're, yes, I'll, I'll probably like Facetime right after this. So. Well, yeah, but I think we also have a photo shoot coming up that we have to do. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Well. Okay. She needs no introduction. You know where her porn lies. Yada, yada, yada. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Bye.